Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a pretty cool little compact travel trailer for you with four bunks in the back, one of them being a table that converts to a bunk. So definitely very versatile. You can sleep a lot of people. This is the 2023 Shadow Cruiser. 280 QBS. Hope you guys enjoy it. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video along with my contact information if you guys are in the market. But as always, if you guys dig this content, like some RV videos, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Help me reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers here in 2023. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Again, it's the 2023 Shadow Cruiser. 280 QBS and you see it has the little extended season RVing package. It's gonna be a little bit of a better uh, constructed unit than most of your travel trailers, which is pretty nice. You're also gonna see right when you walk in, it got a little facelift, not on the outside, but also on the inside. So I don't know if this is you know, a sign of 2024s or if they're just kind of testing it at the end of 2023. Pretty interesting nonetheless. You got a big old super slide right over here with big open windows and a couple seating spots. Right here, you got yourself a couch that has a bed that pulls out, makes a full-size bed, gives you just enough squeak-through room so that way you can walk through here. You're also going to see, due to the slide, you get big open windows, all of which are tinted, and they all open up. For slide height reference, I am six feet tall, and it's just you know right above my ear, uh, so you're good to go there. You don't have to worry about bonking your head unless you're you know, coming in like a gorilla, coming in all hot and heavy. Two USB ports are gonna be right here, right next to your dinette. And I like seeing this, cause like so many others, it drops down and makes a bed. You flip those cushions, but it's also open underneath, which is pretty cool. Don't see too many of that. We'll see how that works out for folks. But you get a little storage area right down there. I probably would like to see at least some barriers to kind of keep some stuff in. But you also notice no carpet. So that's still gonna be a flush mount slide, even though it doesn't have the carpet, you got that woven material. Flip it around, you got your TV, sound bar, a little bit of storage but right across from your seating area is going to be your kitchen. So right here, you got a pretty large size refrigerator for a travel trailer. Bada bing, bada boom. You got it like that. It's also going to be a 12 volt, which is nice. So it's gonna run off your, uh, your solar, you know, your battery, your truck when you're driving down the road. It's also gonna be a little bit more impervious to the outside conditions. If the sun is coming down on the side, you know, it won't heat up that um, you know that freezer section give that ice cream that buttery texture it'll actually nice and freeze another thing that i thought was pretty cool is you got this oven but it's also an air fryer so that's pretty neat you don't see that too often i've seen it start poking up obviously as they're getting more popular but that was pretty cool to point out three stove top burner little checkered backsplash right there decent countertop space and you do have the top for uh, the sink is going to be right here so a little plastic cutting board that we just shoved in the cushion you know, for safekeeping. Underneath, you're gonna have some access to your plumbing and a little bit of storage, and they're really clean cut drawers, which I like seeing. And then you get a couple pullouts as well. So three of these, the bottom two, or the bottom one is gonna be about twice the size as well. Stainless steel undermounted bowl with a little window. You got your Furion hood with the fan and the light right there. And then you got your Greystone microwave as well. And then a little bit of more overhead storage. All right, so again, you get the Sansui TV. Not sure what kind of brand that is, but you know it works out pretty well. I turned it on, it looks pretty sharp. You also get your IRV technology, so it's gonna be zone one and two. It's gonna be sound inside and outside. You also get HDMI and USB, and the speakers are actually pretty darn strong. And then a little bit more storage there underneath. You're gonna have two doors looking just like that. Before I get to the master bedroom, I'm gonna go ahead and go and show you the bathroom and the bunk room. Bathroom right here, plastic foot flush toilet, little bit of storage, access to your plumbing. You got a bowling arm there, baby. If you haven't yet, hit that like and subscribe button. I know that should surely help. Two more outlets that you can also put on with the solar. A couple of those little rhino looking fellas waiting for you guys to hang up a towel. And then you get a little fan there to help suck out some of the steam or stink, depending on what you're doing. But another fan favorite, you get a tub. You know, I got a um, almost a two-year-old and having that tub there you know, it would be nice. That way she can, you know, do all of her stuff, use the little Crayola stuff, color on the walls, but sit there and take more of like a bath like you would at home. You also have a medicine cabinet there behind that mirror. 
before we get into the back, you get a lot of good storage, you know, right there. And you're going to have three of the drawers, three dro doors, geez, oh, Pete's, that are looking just like that. And then this brings you back to the bunk room. Now, no slide. It's a little bit tight. But I'll tell you, if you got to sleep a lot of people, this is a great room to have. You're also not adding weight by not having the slide. On a rainy day, you know, it could become an issue possibly, but there's plenty of room out here in the living room. You can make it work. Emergency exit, pull, push, and pop if you need to. A little desk right there, get some schoolwork done. It also drops down to a bunk. Another bunk up top with a max capacity of 275 pounds, along with a window for a good breeze. And then both of the top bunks do flip up. So that way you can kind of, you know, move and, uh, you know, maybe get that work done. Some nice dresser drawers right there. So plenty of storage along there. You also have a couple places with some cord, you know, kind of organizer, a little hole right there. Maybe plug in a TV with an Xbox, sit down. You know, the kids would never even notice the space, at least not in my household. Teddy bear tops as well. So really nice and comfortable. Not overly thick, but I'll tell you, it's pretty darn squishy. Another window with a blind that opens up and then you get... That little net right there to maybe hold up a phone. Again, this one, oh, never mind, I lied. This one does not flip up, only the other one does. You live and you learn. Good storage there underneath, and it doesn't go back the full width of that uh, twin bed because it's got an outdoor kitchen. It's a good little view there. That might be my, uh, might be my thumbnail right there. I'm thinking my face right here in that corner. We'll see how that goes. 15,000 BTU AC with the dump valve. So if you're not using that bunk room, open this up on both sides and disproportionately push all that cool air into this room. You know, on that really hot day, that could just, uh, you know, kind of help you out. It's also prepped up for the wine guard gateway. So that's pretty cool. You put the box here and the antenna on top, call up like AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and you can get Wi-Fi, you know, while you're on the road, that 4G LTE. Dual entry into the bedroom, so that's a big time plus for me. You also get the two sliding doors. Emergency exit. And then a regular window, just hopefully for a good view or a nice cross breeze. Queen bed. And then you got a cubby back there. Uh, so you can put like, you know, a CPAP machine or something like that. And both sides are going to be the same. So you're going to get an outlet. You also get the USB port right there and some hanging rods. A second AC back here as well, which is a big time plus. And you get storage that goes all the way across. And I think I mentioned it, but the TV bracket goes right here. And these are the appropriate plugins. But again, this is the 2023 Shadow Cruiser 280 QBS. Hope you guys enjoyed the inside portion of this tour. Now I'm going to go around the outside, show you that outdoor kitchen and where everything is. But I did forget to show you. This is going to be your control center. So, you know, your water heater, water pump, auxiliary lights, awning lights, you know, all that good stuff. All in one little area. Okay, so again, just in case, specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video. You're going to see you have a big old awning, probably 24 feet or so is just my guess. You also get the LED lights there underneath. Those little black pucks, that's going to be your zone two. Numero dos. Big old pass-through storage. Shows off that aluminum frame construction. They even put the linoleum in here, which is nice. Solar charge controller lets you know the solar panels are working. And inverter prep if you choose to add that. Now that'll be good if you want to, you know, work up some of those outlets, convert some of that power for you. And then you got a solar disconnect. So if you want to turn off the solar panels, you know, you can. Extend and retract for your power jacks. It's also that extended season, so you're going to have a little bit extra heat down in the down in the end, a little bit deeper into the season, a little bit earlier into the season. The more ride step above steps that flip into the doorway, a little bit sturdier entry action. Extra large grab handle. Another view there, those accent lighting and those outside speakers. Dual axle, a place where you can hook up a TV so you have your outlets and your cable, and then as well as your potable water system. This is going to be a spray port for some access to some water. You also get LP connect for the griddle right here. Love seeing the griddle. I got a Blackstone at home, constantly cooking at it. It's probably the preferred method for camping. I just think they're awesome. And this is a feature that I think you'll really enjoy. Another one of those solar outlets controlled by the solar panel. 
little outdoor refrigerator with enough room for a 24 pack of apple juices if you're a uh, you know kooky camper and like to get your drink on the other power jacks right down there on the back you're going to get an actual bumper with a spare tire six cage aluminum frame construction so you can get on top of this it's a fully walkable roof you also can purchase the on-the-go ladder system that goes in right here. Runs you about 295, 285 bucks. It's a telescoping ladder to help you get on top of the unit. You also got that little black box right there. That's for the Furion observation camera. So 550 smackaroonies. Suction cup that bad boy right onto your windshield. You can see what's going on behind you with some distance markers. This RV is eligible for a slide topper. Slide topper is going to be a piece of awning that goes from here to here and it protects the top of your RV from, you know, leaks and all that kind of good stuff. It's going to be your, your dump valve there for your sewer connection. Back end of the hot water heater. Satellite cable city water connection, black tank flush. It's a sprinkler system for your poop tank. Help knock off all the, uh, all the stinky stuff. Then your 30 amp or your 50 amp connection. I'm sorry. You can get this RV in a 50 amp too. If the, uh, if you don't want to pay the extra like a thousand bucks, twelve hundred bucks or so for that second AC, if you're not in that kind of condition, uh, you definitely can do that. Save a little money if you're not going to use it, that's for sure. And I like these latches, they're the slam latch, but look at that. You don't see that too often, just a little bit easier access. Plus I like the fact that it's got the magnetic door latches there. Back end of the pass-through storage, tire link, which is pretty cool. It's going to be a tire pressure monitoring system that you can hook up right up to your tires. And then, um, you know, it'll scream at you when the tires are getting, uh, you know, flat or overinflated, too hot, whatever. Battery disconnect, we'll fill up your propane, give you a battery, and then you got your power tongue jack. But guys, this was the 2023 Shadow Cruiser 280 QBS. Again, my name is Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Have a wonderful weekend. Hit that like and subscribe button. See ya.